I'm Riley Bigham. I'm Bailey Ballard. And, and this, this is ATV News. Some senior nights to tell you about this week. Cross Country celebrates their Seniors Wednesday right before their meet against Cardinal Gibbons. Seniors will be recognized at 445 at Williams Stadium. Races start at 5. Women's tennis will honor their seniors on Thursday at 310. Their match with Carrie will start at 330. The Women's Empowerment Club will meet on October 10th at 230 in Ms. Tyndall's room, 1616. If you're looking to add an honor society to your resume, you should consider joining the National Math Honor Society. NMHS will host a club meeting on October 4th from 2.30 to 3.30. Hope to see all of the mathematicians there. Congrats to the Athens boys and girls cross country teams. Both teams won the Bow Run Invitational in Greenville on Saturday. Our girls team is currently ranked 10th in the state. The Gay Street Alliance will have its first meeting on Friday, October 4th, during the second half of Smart Lunch in the library. Any and all are welcome. Another week, another important figure to be highlighted for Hispanic Heritage Month. Here's May Tipton. Guatemalan researcher and biologist Nicole Hernandez Amer studies the impacts of climate change and threats to our coastal areas. In addition to the science side, she also studies the disproportionate impacts of climate change on communities of color. Being a well-spoken researcher, she started the Moms Clean Air Force in order to help minimize the impacts of air pollution and global warming. Today, we honor the contributions of Nicole Hernandez Amer. For ATV News, I'm Mae Tipton. Thanks, Mae. Now's the time during ATV where we take a look back and find out what happened today in history. Here's Sine Smith. Good morning, Athens. In today's segment of Today in History, we recap on the 2023 event that had the entire nation scared for their devices. Last October, the National Wireless Emergency Alert System would trend all across social media platforms nationwide. The alert was meant to serve as a routine wellness check to prove that the alerts were effectively sending out emergency alerts if needed. And ultimately, it did exactly what it was supposed to. Unfortunately, many were left feeling disappointed, hoping that the alerts would be something more exciting. For ATV News, I'm Sine Smith. Tomorrow, Sine will have another interesting look at the past. I'm Bailey Ballard. I'm Riley Bigham. And, and thanks, thanks for watching, watching ATV, ATV News. News.